Hello everyone, welcome back to all computer classes. Students, as you know that we are learning Microsoft Excel and this is part 4 of chapter 14. Before learning how to create charts, it is important for us to understand the various components of a chart. So, in this video, we are going to learn about the various components of a chart. Right? So, let's start it. You know that chart is an effective way to display data in a pictorial form. Right? And the chart can only be inserted after selecting the relevant data from the worksheet. So, once we select the data from the worksheet, then only chart can be created. Right? So, let us learn about various components of a chart. So the first component is chart area. It includes all the area and object in a chart. Right? So let me show you the chart area first of all. So I just told you that if we select the data then only that chart can be created. Now you see we have selected this, this data and this chart is created. Right? So the first one was chart area. Now you see this box. This entire box is a chart area within which all the components are residing right now next is category axis category axis and value axis we have two axes the category axis or x axis is the horizontal axis of a chart right so this can be asked you in mcqs so uh, x axis is a horizontal axis which is also called category axis right next is value axis value axis or y axis is the vertical axis used to plot the values means on the y axis values are plotted and on the x axis the categories are plotted right and value axis is located on the left side right so let me show you these two now you see this is a category axis it is also called horizontal axis and x axis right so all the names are displayed here now next is y axis or vertical axis or value axis this is one of the same thing and it is residing on the left side right the next is data series data, se data series are the bars slice or other element that shows the data values right so the main thing the core content of the chart is a data series if there are multiple data series in the chart each will have a different color or a style right so I'll just show you these bars are data series now you see series the name is series and it is called data series right so if we have multiple means only one content is there right if we have multiple datas so there will be multiple bars on the chart and each data series will be having a different color right next is name category name category are the labels label means just the label that we have used for uh, x axis and y axis which are displayed on the x axis and y axis plot area plot area is a window within the chart area right within the entire box we have actual chart so that chart is a plotted plotted area right it contains the actual chart itself and includes plotted data data series category and value axis right so let's see plot area and name category now you see this is a name category category name right so what is written here here we have written marks so this label is indicating the name of the category this is also category this is horizontal category axis and this is vertical axis title right and we have plotted area now this plotted area is containing the content of the y axis and x axis and data series so this is the actual chart and it is called plot area now you see this is called plot area it is popping up the name plot area next is legend legend depicts the colors or pattern symbol assigned to the data series so which if we have multiple data so multiple legends will be there right next is chart title so chart title will desc describes the name and content of the chart right like we have pictures in our textbook so every picture is having some name in the same way if we create charts every chart will be having the title of the chart right 
and then we have grid lines the grid lines are the vertical or horizontal lines depending on the selected chart type means which kind of layout we have selected it is depending upon that grid lines can be uh, vertical or horizontal depending upon the layout that we have selected and it makes easier to read and understand the value right so we have legend chart title and grid lines let's see that this is legend right marks it is a lot of blue color as we have only one data series right so it is having we have only one legend right if we will be having multiple data entries so we will be having multiple legends right then we have chart title this is a chart title right so every chart is having a chart title so this is the chart title right next is grid lines so you see we have these grid lines behind the bars or behind the data series it is making easier for us to read the data now you see this is the highest marks right and it is just touching the 100 line right so student this is all about the charts i mean components of the charts so this is the chart area now i am keeping my mouse pointer on the component and it is showing the name now you see this is chart area this is plot area this is data series and this is category or horizontal or x axis this is vertical value or y axis these are the category name this is legend entry right and this is title of the chart so that's all about today's class and in the next class we will learn how to create these charts right so till then take care and goodbye god bless you all